Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, those of you who have watched the channel before probably saw about four or five months ago I did a review on the Melee Overclock 3C Mini PC. Well recently Melee themselves have actually seen that video and they've very very kindly sent me their latest model which is the Overclock 4 PC. This one here. Now they've sent me this completely free of charge. Um, I haven't got to return it either but they've got They've not got any control over what I say in the video, but uh, I did really like the 3C, so there's no reason at all why I'm not going to enjoy this one. Um, so uh, let's get into it. The spec they've sent me, if you can see there on the camera, is on the box. Uh, it's the 32GB RAM model and the 500GB hard drive. Now the 500GB hard drive consists of the eMMC soldered on drive, plus an extra... 256 gigabyte NVMe to total 512 uh, and the Windows operating system actually comes on the EM, EMMC uh, drive installed um, so I'm not going to do an unboxing it comes as you've just seen the same as the box as the original one uh, this is the actual unit exactly the same to look at as the previous version uh, looks absolutely identical but for those eagle eyed of you, you might notice the three USB ports that were all USB 3 on the Overclock 3 model. On this model, there's actually two USB 3 and then a USB 2. Now, I'm not sure why the downgrade from three USB 3s to just two and a USB 2, but for Astro use, the USB 2 port can be very, very useful. Uh, I particularly always plug my mount into a USB 2 but it just seems to run a lot happier in, in a USB 2 so whether that's been done on request of, of Astro Photographers using these PCs I don't know um, but yeah you've got two USB 3, one USB 2 but everything else is absolutely identical to the previous model um, you've still got the two uh, HDMI ports the 12 volt input which is a USB-C plus another um, data port USB-C um, the 12 volt input port it is a 12 volt computer but you can actually plug an 18 up to an 18 volt power supply in here um, because of the power delivery side of it it will just take the 12 volts that it needs so if, you, if you're using this power supply bigger, like I use a 14 volt power supply, absolutely no problems at all. You can also power the PC through this port, but I don't know why you would because that's data as well. So you're just giving up a data port to power the computer, which is a bit pointless really. Um, I would like personally that port to be a 5.5 jack plug and Melee, if you're watching, maybe it might be a good idea to supply an adapter in the box. Uh, to go from USB-C to 5.5mm jack for, again, for astrophotographers because all the cables we use on our rigs tend to be the 5.5mm round jack plugs uh, but other than that it's identical the fan system has been upgraded uh, it's super quiet this one, the other one was pretty quiet but this, I had it on my uh, desk running for around 15 hours loading software, testing different things and I never even heard the fan come on once. You put your ear to it, you can hear it very, very slightly in the background, but it's super quiet compared to the 3C model. But I know they have upgraded that, so whether that was part of the upgrade to make it quieter, maybe. It comes in three models, 8GB, 16 and 32GB RAM models. Like I say, this is the 32GB model. Um, it will run Pixinsight on this model as well, I've been testing that out and it runs okay. Uh, it does everything that I want it to do, sometimes when I'm imaging I like to just stack a few images just to see or use live stack and that runs absolutely fine on this model. Again it's an overclock model and by overclock what that means is they're just boosting the power to the processor instead of having 15 watts of power to it, it's got 18 watts of power which just boosts. Uh, the processor speed. It's an upgraded processor. The 3C model had the N5095 processor. This is the N95 processor and it's quoted to be 30% quicker. Now in my tests it does seem a lot quicker, certainly booting up 
and running so I'm not sure it's quite 30 percent but it's probably close it's certainly a lot quicker I don't know how much of that is down to the fact that this is 32 gigabyte RAM and the previous version I had was only 16 gigabyte of RAM uh, so there could, there could be a difference there um, but I did run Pixinsight on the previous model and that ran but it was albeit a bit slow this one it seems to run quite comfortably um, it, it's a generally a much newer and faster processor the N95 than the previous model um, so the 30% increase is probably pretty close um, to what they say uh, the hard drive situation they've still got the soldered on EMMC drive and then in this model being the 512, there's a 256 EMMC and a 256 NVMe drive. Windows comes on the built-in drive, um, which again, if you're going to have an NVMe drive, I like to run Windows off that because it's the faster of the two drives. So what I've done is I've cloned it from the EMMC to the NVMe drive and then changed the boot order so it boots from the NVMe. Wipe the other drive and use that as a a backup or the other thing I can recommend doing is to get all your software and everything loaded when you first get it onto the EMMC drive get it all up and running exactly how you want to use it with your astrophotography rig and then clone it across keep the EMMC as a backup if ever your main drive goes down then you've got a problem and you need to wipe it or it's playing up or whatever you can just change the boot order and boot from the EMMC drive and you've got a a rig back up and running in no time at all while you sort out the NVMe. If you can't sort that out and you do need to wipe it, then just wipe it and clone it back across. So you've always got a working drive on your system. Um, I've, up, I've upgraded because I had a 512 gigabyte NVMe drive anyway in my previous one and it was just a case of taking that out my other one and dropping it straight in this and it worked because for all intents and purposes they're the same computers so there was no problem in just swapping it out of one and putting it in the other one but it is a great little mini PC I have it mounted on the on my pier I know some people do have it mounted actually on the uh, dovetail bar or the scope itself it's still very lightweight. It's not as light as the um, the, the normal 3C models or 4C models now. Uh, being the overclock version, it does have the extra couple of inches in length, which is the fan, and obviously you've got the weight of the heatsink and the fan in there. So it does add a little bit of weight on there. But all in all, it's an absolutely great little mini PC. Uh, oh, the other thing is it's got the S micro SD card slot, again, the same as the previous model. Um... What else can I say about it? Not a lot. I, I'm truly impressed. I was impressed with the other model uh, and I'm just as impressed, if not more so, with this. Um, and not just the fact they've sent it me for free either. That, that doesn't come into it. Believe you me, I'd be totally unbiased. Uh, this is my uh, review, whether I'd paid for it or not. So this is the new Malay Overclock 4C PC. I hope this review was of some use to you if you are thinking of upgrading or buying your first Astro Mini PC to to put on your mount to run your equipment this would be a very good choice I think at the moment on Amazon certainly here in the UK there's some very good offers on it some very good reductions I think this model is around about £350 and at the moment I think there's a voucher on Amazon with £90 off takes it down to to well under 300 and the 16 gigabyte model I think you can get for around 200 or just over and that's with the vouchers on Amazon at the moment so if you are thinking of getting one I'd have a look on Amazon definitely I'm not sure if it's the same in the US and other countries as regards the vouchers on Amazon uh, but certainly in the UK as of this morning uh, those vouchers were still available on this I think because it's new um, so grab one while you can. I'll put all the links in the description to them on Amazon. Um, so yeah, that's just about it. So thanks for watching. Again, if you like what you see, think about giving me a like and maybe even subscribing. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. So until then, clear skies and thanks for watching.